This video is sponsored by Artlist. Stick around to learn how you can win $100,000 with the Artlist 100K fund. If you want to speed up your editing workflow, the number one thing you can do is get organized. And that's especially true with large multi-scene projects. Luckily, DaVinci Resolve has a ton of tools that can help with that. Let's talk about it. A few months ago, I put out a video where I went over my file structure for the majority of the videos that I create. Let's recap that real quick. Inside each project folder, I've got a folder for footage, audio, graphics, and images. I also have one for thumbnails, deliverables, and timelines, but we don't need to worry about that here. Now, inside of those media type folders, I break everything down even more. For example, in the footage folder, I have A roll and B roll, and inside each of those, I have folders for each footage source, like the camera used, screen recordings, stock footage, you get the idea. Then in the audio folder, I'll add folders for dialogue, sound effects, and music. Graphics will have still and motion, you get the idea. And that's it. That's how I build out the file structure for most of my videos. That being said, most of my videos are relatively simple and they typically don't have multiple scenes. Now let's take a look at how to organize and manage larger projects. Actually, speaking of larger projects, let me ask you a question real quick. What would you create with a hundred thousand dollars. Well, today's sponsor Artlist just launched its biggest creators fund ever, the Artlist 100K Fund. So no matter what type of creator you are, you can pitch your wildest creative idea and Artlist will give one of you a hundred thousand dollars to make it happen. I know, exciting, right? To join, post a video on your socials showcasing your hundred thousand dollar idea, tag Artlist.io and use the hashtag Artlist 100K Fund. The deadline to submit your idea is October 12th, so get your ideas in as soon as you can. For all the information about the Artlist 100K Fund, head over to Artlist.io now or check the link in the description. So good luck, thanks so much to Artlist for sponsoring this video, and with all that being said, let's start setting up our project. Now, the file structure for a multi-scene project is actually based on the file structure I showed you earlier. The only difference is that we have one layer of folders in between the project folder and the media type folders. So let's open up our project folder and create a folder for each scene. Since our project will be five scenes, we'll have a folder for scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four, and scene five. Then inside each of those scene folders, we'll build out a file structure just like the one we used for our smaller project. Then once we have all of our footage, audio, and other assets placed in our folders, we can import them into DaVinci Resolve. Now, there are a few ways to get our media into DaVinci Resolve, but in this case, we're going to use the media page because there are a few tools there that'll help us get even more organized. One of those tools is Analyze for People, which does exactly what it sounds like. Simply right click on a piece of footage, choose Analyze for People, and DaVinci Resolve will find all of the people in that clip. Then you can name each of them. And that's all well and good, but it goes one step further. Once you've identified someone in one piece of footage, DaVinci Resolve will look at all of the footage in your project, and if there are any clips where that person shows up, they'll be tagged in those clips as well. Next up, audio classification, which was introduced in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. And this one is pretty self-explanatory as well. Just select your audio clips, right click, and choose audio classification and analyze. From there, DaVinci Resolve will analyze your audio clips and assign them a category like dialogue, effects, or music. Oh, and if you want to know what we're doing with all of this tagging, don't worry. I'm gonna show you. But before we do that, let's take a look at our third tool, metadata, which honestly is less impressive than the other tools I showed you, but it's still super helpful. The metadata section is in the far right column of the media page. And in the top right corner of the metadata section, there's a little down arrow. If you press that, you'll see a whole bunch of options where you can plug in the data associated with that clip. For example, if we click on shot and scene, we can add a description of the clip, add the shot number, the scene number, and any other information that might be useful. Okay, now why did we go through all of that? Why did we go through the trouble of not only organizing our bins, but tagging, categorizing, and adding metadata to all of our clips? Well, that's so we can take advantage of another awesome tool that DaVinci Resolve has to offer. If we go to the edit page and take a look at the media pool, we'll see something 
something called smart bins. And if we click the keywords drop down, we'll see all the keywords that we've added to our clips. And in the categories drop down, we can pull up our sound effects, dialogue, video clips, and music. So all of the work that we did in the media page basically just made it super easy to find the asset that we're looking for quickly and easily. Pretty cool, right? Okay, let's talk timelines. We all know that DaVinci Resolve gives you the ability to work with multiple timelines in a single project. Unless, of course, you're new to DaVinci Resolve, then you might not know that DaVinci Resolve gives you the ability to work with multiple timelines in a single project. So if you're new, DaVinci Resolve gives you the ability to work with multiple timelines. You get the idea. Now, there are multiple ways to work with multiple timelines in Resolve, and it's really dealer's choice. Some people use different timelines for different versions of the same video. Others use them for different stages of the same video. And by stages, I mean rough cut on one timeline, color on the next, audio on the next, and so on. Personally, I like to put each scene on a single timeline and then combine them on a final timeline at the end. That way everything is broken up into smaller chunks and my brain won't break. So first I'll add a timeline bin in the media pool, then in that bin, I'll create a timeline for each scene and a timeline named Final. From there, I'll assemble all of my scenes individually with the exception of the audio mix. Then once all of them are done, I'll bring all of the assets from all of the timelines into my final timeline, which is made super easy by one of my favorite tools in DaVinci Resolve, Stacked Timelines. To turn on Stacked Timelines, just click the Timeline View Options icon and select Stacked Timelines. Then in the top right corner of the timeline, you'll see a little timeline icon with a plus sign. Click that to add a new Stacked Timeline. Then we'll set it up so our top timeline is the final timeline and the bottom timeline will have tabs for each individual timeline. From there, we can quickly and easily copy and paste our scene timelines into the main timeline. From there, we can work on our audio and prepare for our final render. Now, I know I went over a lot in this video and not all of it was very detailed. So if there's any part of this process that you would like a more detailed video on, let me know in the comments. And on your way down there, feel free to like this video and subscribe if you're not already. For now though, be sure to check out this video to learn about some amazing plugins that can take your videos to the next level. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.